Hey everyone, this is Laura Lenardi with Dot Esports, and today we are reporting from Worlds 2021. Our interview features Yamato, head coach of Fnatic, to address everything that has been going on with the team right now. All right, so obviously the first thing that I think we need to um, address here is the the timeline of the situation that Fnatic had with upset how long you guys had to work with with Bean and how that affected the team's preparation does it have to be addressed I'm not so sure I think you know some things are more important than than competition and um, you know sometimes life works in ways where things come up that are unexpected and you just have to deal with them the best way possible. Bean has been a blessing. He's working very hard. He's um, adjusting to the situation as well as he can. And um, I'm very, very proud to, to have him aboard. He's been watching our scrims. He's been taking inspiration uh, to his own team, uh, playing, of course, the Neo Masters. Uh, their team is very similar to ours uh, in some shapes or forms. So he's as ready as anyone could ever be uh, for the situation. All right, and, and tell me a little bit about your role in, in keeping the team's morale at, at this point. Oh, I am just trying to make them understand, you know, that, uh, you know, with challenge comes um, great possibility. And um, that uh, the first step to anything is to believe that it's possible. And I think today we played a game that... Uh, Definitely, you know, we had a lot of sloppy mistakes uh, that uh, put us behind and uh, that the game started in, in a terrible fashion uh, and we still managed to accomplish a lot of good things. And I hope um, that the players, you know, I told them uh, after we were going to rewatch this game that they're going to feel the sentiment, you know, that uh, you know, a lot of the shit that went down and the, the advantages that RNG got was because we were just being a bit too wild. And... Um, I think with that being said, you know, in this game, there was a lot of potential and I think that will carry uh, through to the rest of the group stage. And uh, my job is to make sure that the players see that. Absolutely. And how has it been for you to coach Bean individually to make sure that he's he's ready for the world stage on such short notice? Well, with Bean, mostly I just uh, took the time to get to know him. You know, uh, I spoke with him and I wanted to get to know him deeper just to, to know uh, which buttons... Uh, I need to press, you know, to, to get a specific uh, reaction out of him. Uh, Bean is um, a competitor. He's very motivated and he's at a very early stage in his career. And um, I know that he has the character to, to seize and to do the best out of a moment like this because it's definitely a very difficult situation to be thrown into. And um, he's been doing super, super well. And, uh, you know, in terms of preparation, it was just more about, you know, making sure that he's comfortable and playing the things and, you know, expressing and being on the rift uh, instead of uh, anything else. Because he is, of course, uh, his own player. All right. And what about uh, the changes with uh, with the bot? How is Hilly Sang adapting if there is much to adapt to? Hilly Sang is a, is a world class player. He's been, you know, his relationship with Elias is, of course, uh, very unique and very powerful. and. Um, it is uh, impossible to replicate that. Um, it's uh, it's the rarity, right? And um, even through that, Eddie has so much experience and he's such a talented player. I think he's one of the best Western players of all time. Every team that he's been on always has an element of, uh, of power to it. And uh, Eddie is a player that uh, you have to fear when you play against him. And uh, that is still there. So... Pili, with his experience, definitely uh, lifts up a player like me. Absolutely. And what, what are your expectations with, with the new team? Well, my expectations is that, you know, we are going to learn from these two games and become a lot better. I think we have uh, the potential to do a lot more than we did in these two games. Uh, we're learning along the way. Uh, we know that the group stage is something that uh, is a process of... Um, just you have to evolve through and through and uh, we're going to take away as much as possible from these two games. And I think uh, the teams that we have in our group are definitely beatable. I have um, enough firepower and talent on this roster to to make that happen. So I put that responsibility on my shoulders to 
to make sure that this this happens. So my goal hasn't changed. I think working in any other capacity than trying to win the tournament is uh, is a joke. So I'm going to continue to do so, and uh, I'll rest when everything is over. I'll just uh, work as hard as humanly possible, and the boys will too. And uh, my expectations is that we're going to put everything on the line and get uh, as far as possible. As long as we do that, I couldn't give uh, 10 shits about the results. Right. Thank you so much, Yamato, for the insight, and I wish you guys best of luck. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. For more gaming related content, subscribe to the .esports YouTube channel to stay up to date.